Dragonflies and damselflies represent two different suborders of the order Odonata, which includes about 5,000 species worldwide and more than 450 in North America. Their wings can be moved separately, allowing them to fly both forward and backward. Their long legs are used to seize prey rather than for walking. A number of dragonfly species are known to migrate. Large numbers may migrate in a short time period. For example, in September of 1992, more than 400,000 dragonflies were observed migrating in Cape May, New Jersey on a single day, and about 1.2 million in Chicago on 11-14-1978. The adults feed on flying insects and have been nicknamed mosquito hawks because of the number of mosquitoes that they capture. Dragonflies and damselflies often fly in tandem, with the cerci on the tip of the male's abdomen attached to the head or the thorax of the female. The female can bend her abdomen to acquire the sperm stored at the base of the male's abdomen. Although females can lay eggs into the water or aquatic vegetation by themselves, they often do so while attached to the male for support. Darners are large dragonflies whose wingspan can reach 6 inches. Females lay their eggs into the water one at a time. Most dragonflies in our area belong to the family known as common skimmers. The two genders often have different coloration and the wings often bear spots. The species of skimmers in our area include the white tail, slaty skimmers, Banded winged metal hawks, eastern amber wings, eastern pond hawks, chalk fronted corporals, widow skimmers, yellow legged metal hawk. The aquatic larvae feed on a number of organisms, which can include tadpoles and fish, using their extensile mouth parts. While damselfly larvae possess gills extending from the tips of their abdomens, dragonfly larvae possess gills inside their rectum. They can bring water in and out of their rectum to breathe and to propel themselves forward. The mouth parts of dragonfly larvae are extendable and typically stretch a third of the body length. Larvae crawl onto land to molt into the adult form.